Hello everyone, my name is Loki Cola and welcome back to Let's Play How to Full Boyfriend. Uh, there were actually a lot of things that happened last time, so, uh, too many to quickly summarize, so let's just jump into wherever we're now. Let's see. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Math, gym, or music? Ah, I think we'll go music. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. I've been placed in. Uh, last time it was the it was the go the the gong. What am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? Loka leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Yay! We got our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Well, I didn't really do anything. It's just happening outside. Cooler, sir. Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Yeah. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Oh, wow. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. Hooray! If only that was the case in Sweden. <laughs> I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nage? Please be quiet in the library. Hello! You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope, I was just wondering if you were here. Of course, I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of, tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's a sign reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really, I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteer to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... <clears throat> Night on the Galactic Railroad or Orehato. I have absolutely no idea if these are even... Uh, there, there may be re real books, but I have never heard of them in that case. Uh, let's recommend Orehato. What about my... What? What about my little Nike... 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 What? What about my little Nike bar? Can't... Be this cute? I liked it. I never heard that name before. What is it? It's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredibly sunder... Sunder? Nike bar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother and... I see. He sounds extremely uninterested. <coughs> Don't look down on light novels. Kiri... Kiri... Ni Kiriniko is cute. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. What? Wh what? What was up with that building? They can't just do something like that and... Don't tell me anything about it. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always look. I always. I, I, oh, why can't I talk? 
sometimes. It's just, I don't know, loca.ex stops working fairly occasionally, it just crashes. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Oh no, don't tell me I'm lost. Where am I? Oh no. I must have wander wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting, I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! Uh oh. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? Uh oh. A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a m motor scooter. It looks like it looks a little bit vintage. How cute! I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from Saint Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. The cut of my what? Anyone that, that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Th thank you, um, may I ask your name? Kushiba Asam Asami, I think. I sell takoyaki. Takoyaki. I don't know what it is. Call me Asami. Then thank you, Asami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. And I'd rather be with a caution, caution, a driver that shows caution than an insane driver. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Uh oh, there is a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do <clears throat> you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilo kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Okay, m maybe... Maybe don't be too cautious. <laughs> Following traffic laws is part of my credo credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Asami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house it was almost light out. It's still a long time until the semester starts and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance. I'll... <laughs> should I be lazy? Like in real life? No. Let's actually get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? Cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. Is that a... <gasps> Is that... If you could come back at new... Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. Oh, I was wondering if maybe it was a budgie. I love budgies. I like parakeets too, though. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. I am called Urushihara Kensaburo. Again, I'm extremely 
sorry for any Japanese viewers. Uh, I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Cola Look. <laughs> uh, welcome, Miss Loka. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I'm a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Loka. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Wait, okay. What? Tomorrow then, Miss Loka. I thought birds were free. Or... Or maybe the cage is like a house thing. <clears throat> Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Loka. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, ex cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and it keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my how... Excuse me? Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... <gasps> Ryota! Yay! Loka, what, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Loka? Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it, fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that... Oh. Oh no. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. Oh no. I feel bad. I should... Hmm. Oh, this is a tough choice. Um, you know what? I think Ryota needs it much more than I do. Mr. Urushihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Loka? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need it. I don't really need the A... <laughs> Apparently localization wasn't 100% um, here. Uh, I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Loka? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too, but... Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Uru Urushihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. Aye. Thanks, Loka. Well then. Our encounter has been a transient... Tra transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I'm glad I met you. Please do, please do stop by. I'll always be here, Miss Loka. Uh, getting weird vibes f over here. I will. Thank, thank you, Mr. Urushihara. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Is this kind of like the starting choice? We're like, hmm, who should I invite? Uh, I think I'm I think I may actually invite Nageki. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. Indeed he does. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. 
I'd like to learn more about him, though. He'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Today is my day as receptionist. There's no birdie here, as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Nageki? Yes? Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper and there's a corner open, so I thought... Can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing though. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how, how you'd write one though. It doesn't have to be very long either. I'll write one. I'll, I'll, I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yay! Thank you. I think that's everything for everything for the September issue. We. Ah! I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. Oh no! I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh no! Oh, hello, Cola. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. <gasps> aren't you... Aren't you a... Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Cola? Huh? What's the number in the top left corner say? Oh... You're just a little bit early. Wah? Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Cola? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of, co of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library. Uh... Return to my glorious abode. Uh, I don't really think having a student help you with the exams, well, helping a teacher with the exams is... Uh, I am definitely not qualified for that. I'll go study in the library. The library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I pre prepared enough for my tests. I'll, I'd like to go study if, if it's alright. Of course, work hard, okay? There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years. They probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? Maybe. Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki? M Miss Cola, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds? Is that it? He nods. Oh, they'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being... Is he being bullied or paranoid? Are you bullied? He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Cool. Okusan is always having fun. I sure f believe that. Yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> what is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Uh, oh, he's falling asleep. Focus, sir. Focus. We're at the second term now, apparently. That's uh, probably a good way to stop this, actually. Uh, 
I can't believe I'm actually intrigued by this game. I actually want to continue playing. I... Yeah. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this and uh, I'll see you all next time.